Well, just because a public bathroom looks clean doesn't mean it is. We put public restrooms to the test, and you may be surprised by what we found. Fox 41's Valerie Chin has more on her special assignment, Dirty Bathrooms. Have you ever wondered how clean public restrooms are? We decided to find out. We swabbed the restrooms for bacteria and to see if there's any E. coli. They are used every day, public restrooms. I have been in places that were you know, pretty, pretty dirty. We tested five bathrooms at the Louisville International Airport, Jefferson Mall, Cherokee Park, and a gas station near Shelbyville. And what we found can literally make you sick. These looks are deceiving. You can't tell microbiologically how clean something is by just by, by the appearance. E. coli is the worst bacteria to find since it indicates the presence of fecal material. Environmental safety technologies in Louisville processed our results and found E. coli on the bathroom floors at the airport and the mall. If E. coli is there, then other bacteria like Salmonella and Shigella and Campylobacter and Enteroviruses could be there as well. The airport says it has a cleaning policy of disinfecting the restrooms every two hours. There's always room for improvement, Valerie, and that's why we wanted to know what time did you do the swab. We'll take this back to the janitorial contractor. They were very concerned when we shared this information with them and want to make sure that the folks that were cleaning in that area at that time indeed understood how to use the disinfectants properly and were taking the proper procedures to disinfect the restrooms. Jefferson Mall declined to talk on camera about the E. coli on their bathroom floor, but issued a statement saying they've had no complaints about the cleanliness of the restrooms and have had no health violations cited. Other bathrooms didn't have E. coli, but did have a lot of bacteria. Here's the scale the lab uses. For bathroom floors, a bacteria particle count over 10,000 is considered unacceptable. The gas station floor had 60,000 bacteria particles. That's six times over what's considered acceptable. So it tells you is that the, number one, the conditions are uh, conducive for E. coli to survive there if it was there. And it also tells you that that floor hasn't been cleaned in a while. Gas station ownership disagrees and says they've received high marks for cleanliness based on their mystery shoppers. We did some testing on your restroom and found a huge yeah, amount of bacteria. I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. How often do you clean your bathroom? We clean them every day, but we... For we bathroom have... sinks and doors, anything over 1,000 bacteria particles is considered unacceptable, according to the lab. The gas station sink was actually dirtier than the floor, with 300,000 bacteria particles. The cleanest of all the bathroom floors was the rest stop. There were 5,200 bacteria particles, which the lab says is an acceptable level of cleanliness. The park bathroom floor, however, had 14,000 particles, which shows it hasn't been cleaned for a while. But Metro Parks says 99% of the time, the bathrooms, including this one, are cleaned once a day. If you walk on a dirty bathroom floor, that bacteria gets transferred to your shoes, which you take everywhere you go. And the same goes for a purse if you set it down on the floor. If there's no hook, I do set it down on the floor, unfortunately. Yeah. We swabbed a few purses, and a purse that was set on the floor was actually dirtier than each of the bathroom doors at the five locations. The purse had 240 bacteria particles. So the next time you use a public restroom or set your belongings on the floor, just keep in mind that germs out there can make you sick. The best thing to do is to avoid touching the bathroom handle. You can use a paper towel to open the door and use hand sanitizer when you leave. Valerie Chen, Fox 41 News.